My name is Jonathan Katz. I'm the CEO of the National Assembly of State Arts Agencies in the United States, and I live just outside of Washington, D.C. I believe that to make a real difference, the work that you have to do has to outlive you and be for the long term. And, and what that means is you're not looking for a quick win. You're looking for the relationships and the networks and the processes and the meetings that continue support for something. That's what makes it last. And so my, my, my advice is, is go for those things because other things will be transient. They'll be gone in a year or they're gone when you leave. Well, in the next three years, we're going to face a horrible financial environment and, and there's some real questioning about what the uh, role of government is in the United States and whether the arts are included as a core function. So the real opportunity there is to make the case for the arts as a core function of government and, and, to, and to really communicate what the public benefits are. That's what, we, that's what we have to do. My organization is 56 government agencies and, and they, they face a, a whole variety of challenges, very different ones from state to state. But they have to be informed, their leaders have to be informed of the best ideas in the world, the best programs in the world, whether it's aiding artists or, or arts organizations or, or community projects um, or, or, or making partnerships with the business community or the health services community, whatever it is. They need the best ideas in the world and I get them from Ithaca. Personally, I was a sick and isolated child and, and the only <laughs> The only thing that I had um, you know, was my mother's college books, and I had her poetry book from the course that she took. And, and you know, it was that literature stuff that enabled me to, to think of what the rest of the world was like, that in, in the encyclopedias. That was a, that was a personal motivation. But, but you know, in my professional life, you know, seeing, doing a project that takes place in every state and engages, you know, after five years, 365,000 kids in poetry recitation, you know, and then seeing, seeing the final of that, um, that's, that's pretty motivating. Well, recently uh, I was invited to dinner by uh, a guy who um, uh, just finished uh, editing the, com the, the comprehensive history of jazz for the Smithsonian Magazine, for the Smithsonian uh, Institution. He works for the National Museum of American History. And he invited uh, a piano player and he invited his 16-year-old nephew who plays the trumpet. And I didn't realize that the guy was going to bring the trumpet and that they were going to be playing the piano that evening. I had in my car the instrument that I play, which is the washtub bass. And so I ran down and got that. And I got to, I got to play with, with guys who, who define some directions in jazz in the United States and the next generation of jazz in the United States. And I don't get to play jazz very much. So that was, that was a pretty wonderful experience for me. Mm -hmm.